So if you click this video because you want to get started in property with no money, then you've come to the right place. And that, my friends, is not because I'm going to tell you that you can get started in property with no money down deals and invest them in none of your own money. No, it's actually because I'm going to tell you something that property gurus won't. You simply can't. However, as I've likely deflated you somewhat, I want you to know that if you stick around with me just for a few moments, I'm actually going to help you at least get the ball rolling on your property journey. But before we do that, we all need to quickly stretch off, blink real fast five times and smash the hell out of that like button. Just so the YouTube gods know that this video is about to drop some real information to help you out. I just had a haircut. So with that, let's begin. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Aaron, aka The Anxious Investor, bringing you two videos every single week, saving you from all the mistakes I've made without having to pay for it. Now what I wanna to do today is run through the following things. And again, timestamps will be in the descriptions and the chapters will be running along the bottom to make your life easier. And just very quickly before I jump into these, my Instagram handle is here and I'll be completely honest, up until about three weeks ago, I rarely used it. I don't ever like Instagram. And actually, it's relevant to a point I'm gonna speak about later in this video, that it doesn't really help my mental sanity and it probably doesn't help yours too. But I am quite active now. Recently, I've had a sudden influx of subscribers there. They must have got wind that the anxious investor is the person to go to. So please do drop me a follow over there if you are on Instagram because we are close to hitting 10,000 followers. So anyway, let's begin with this video. So the first part is getting your savings up. Now I know we have... Got eyelashes in my eye. Now I know I've spoken about this on a few videos that you've probably seen in terms of savings. And we've also been through a really crazy time where some of us have benefited somewhat from furlough and having slightly more disposable income. But there's many of us as well out there who have simply had a really tough time. But regardless of where your point is, we have to look at the future and I'm gonna help you now start getting the ball rolling in order to invest. And I also think it's important that I stress I'm against saving money in the bank just for the sake of saving money in the bank. I don't do it myself other than having a short runway just in case shit hits the fan. But generally speaking, my savings are put into a few different areas such as the health Excel business, property obviously, some land and also the S&P ETF. It sounds a little bit complicated, it really isn't that complicated because even I can do it and I simply do that through eToro. I'm sure there's many other places you can do it, but there is a link below. I don't ever think I get any cashback or affiliates from that, but it's probably been the easiest place I've been able to put some money in and my goal with that is just to leave it there compounding over the years. Now, wherever you choose to put your money is obviously entirely up to you, but the key is to recognise that if it's in the bank, you're simply losing value on it. So it's in your best interest to get it working sooner rather than later. Now in terms of saving, if you're unable to bring in another income stream, it may seem really impossible to add to that piggy bank. And I've been there in the past, so I fully appreciate that. Sometimes we're just making ends meet. So the quickest way to bump your savings is to reduce expenditure. At least that's one of the first things I did when I got into this game full time. Now I'm gonna scare you a little bit. There was a recent study a few years ago where it showed the average Brit wastes 30,000 pounds over their lifetime on monthly direct debits they don't even use. Now that in itself is a deposit for a house. So I'm very, very confident that every single one of you watching this video today has some payment of some sort, a subscription maybe every month that you've either forgotten about, you can't be asked to cancel, or you don't even want to look at. A little bit like when you have that crazy night out and you're just too afraid to look at your receipts. So please do me a favor, after liking this video, and watching it all the way through of course, is check your direct debits and subscriptions and really ask yourself, am I using this? Is this even worth it? Even if it's a couple of quid, the couple of quid will add up and it'll also help you maybe be a little bit more diligent with saving your cash. It'll promote good habits. Next up we have recognizing your own journey. Now it's very easy watching a channel like this or some other property channels and wanting what that person has. Comparison is truly the thief of joy. But regardless of whether you're 18, 40, 70, your journey is your journey. Just because you may not have as many properties as a 21 year old Instagrammer, doesn't mean you should be stressing or derailing yourself about your own progress. Everyone's journey is unique. I may have one or two extra houses than you, but you may have so many other amazing things that I don't have. So I don't want you to just focus on one part of somebody's life. Because the simple fact is, I've just spent a lot of my last few years focusing on property, whereas you may have been focusing somewhere else. And I guess the same can be applied to any situation in life. So this is why I truly hope you don't compare or ever put people on pedestals. And I promised I wouldn't use the word guru today, but I already have. But gurus really use this tactic to make it look like they're just like you. 
the humble brag and it's a brilliant way of luring people into your funnels what they try and do is emotionally make it sound like they're just like you and it's an emotional play but remember nobody is like you you're unique in your own way and don't fall for that nonsense just concentrate on your own journey and this can be done by doing the following few things Number one, accept where you are because of the choices and the decisions that you've made up until now. Number two, probably one of the most important, be okay with that or get okay with that. And the third is to figure out where you want to go and try and move yourself towards that. And this is literally why sometimes I watch what goes into my head because myself too, I'm not immune from comparing myself with somebody else's journey, especially if I've had a bad day. We all do it to a degree. So this is why I kind of, I guess, stay away from places like Instagram. I'm now trying to focus solely on my goals, just to produce content, increase my skill set, and then the only time I'm ever really on social media is when I'm responding to any of your guys' comments. So hopefully you can do that too. And this actually segues me nicely over to point three, which is very, very important. It's extremely important to have a plan. Now, some of the most common questions I get asked is what strategy should I do? Or where should I invest? Or should I buy low and rent high? Or maybe buy high and sit on it, waiting for capital appreciation. Now, I am actually doing a video around this, so make sure that you subscribe if that's of interest. But my plan and your plan are simply not the same. Even if you're both up for cash flowing properties, for example, there will still be so many differences. There are so many different things that we would do and want differently. So many skills we differ on, so many things we want that aren't the same. And it's just it's very impossible to have a generic plan. For example, you may want to be more hands-on because you like controlling, you're pretty good at DIY. Whereas myself, I want to be as passive as possible, almost as lazy as possible. And I hate uncertainty because it just doesn't help my anxiety. So we'll never be the same. And that's okay, you're on your journey, I'm on mine. However, what you can do is if you struggle, I can help you with this and I can help you set a plan. So if that's of interest, obviously we can connect again via Instagram and I'll have a conversation with you. But either way, make sure you get yourself a plan. And I'm sure you've all heard that you're 10 times more likely to, to, to I just hate that word. You're 10 times more likely to succeed if you have a plan, according to a 2015 Harvard study. And I guess if Harvard say it, it must be true. So make sure you get yourself a plan. And once you have the plan, then reverse engineer that process and any gaps you have, learn how to acquire or fill those gaps and anything you already possess, make sure you learn to strengthen them. Skill set is so important. And finally, guys, like the video. But the fourth point is how, how to wrap, how to, how to, how to rapidly increase all of the points that I've mentioned. And the quickest way to do this is actually to raise investor finance. Well, actually it's the second quickest way. The quickest way is to sell a course and fabricate your results to sell generic buzzwords to newbies. But as that's not something I do, and hopefully it's not something that you guys are gonna be doing, then you have to get good at raising finance. I always say this is probably my superpower. I'm not an expert in any sort of field, but I generally tend to get on with people. People tend to like and trust me, and as a result of that, it's massively helped my journey. And I hope it can help your journey as well. And for that, if you have 18 minutes spare, I have done some in-depth videos here, and obviously I'll link it down below in the description below, because it can massively help you in this journey because no matter how rich you are, we're all gonna run out of money. And thankfully for you and me, people out there actually have a lot of money. And remember the whole thing about money in banks doing nothing that I mentioned earlier? Rich people know this more than anyone else. So as a result of this, you definitely need to learn to raise investor finance to not only help the investors, but also help yourself. And with that, my friends, I hope I've helped you somewhat in this video. I would really appreciate help back with maybe a like or a comment below about if any of this helped you. And of course, now is the greatest time of the show, the bloopers. I hope you have a great day. Die. I hope you have a great, ah! I hope you have a great, it's like four or five words. I hope you have a great day, guys. So as a result, yeah, sorry. So as a result of this, you, that was itchy. That was gonna burn. So you definitely have to run, run. What the hell is run?